Today we're discussing depression with Dr. Kathleen Franco, who is a psychiatrist with the Cleveland Clinic. Dr. Franco has agreed to take questions over the internet that have come in from our members. First up is Karen from Destin, Florida. Dr. Franco, um, we think that mom's depressed, she's showing symptoms, and she won't get help, and she won't even go. Uh, what, what can we do to resolve this? We're very concerned. That's a tough one because, you know, a person has to want to get better. Um, I do several things. One is I approach people because I think sometimes they really don't want to be miserable um, and they would like to feel better, but they don't know how to go about it and they're not sure that they trust someone else's judgment um, to make that decision for them. They may be caught in the old trap that if you really tough enough and strong enough, you don't need anybody else to help you, whether that is a friend uh, or a physician. If you really think they're at risk uh, to, for example, to harm themselves or to hurt themselves, then that becomes, you know, mom, I know you don't want to go and see somebody, but this is not just for you, it's for all of us in the family because we love you and we want you to get better and to feel happy at this time of year, not to feel uh, so down and depressed that you don't want to keep going. Um, you matter to us. Uh, can you go with me if I will go with you? Hello, Dr. Franco. Uh, is medication the only option to treat depression? Well, you will have success uh, with medication, but personally, I think you have great quality uh, and more consistency by doing cognitive behavioral therapy or interpersonal therapy or one of those that are really proven uh, in evidence-based medicine uh, to work longer. You get better results from that. And even if you're on medication, there will be blips in your world. There will be uh, crises and losses. Uh, if you have those cognitive and behavioral skills uh, to help bolster whatever you're doing with the medication, then you can weather those little bumps a lot easier. And the likelihood of an individual staying out of depression increases dramatically. So, Dr. Franco, my question is, there seems to be a lot more people diagnosed with depression. Are there really more people depressed, or are we just learning more about it? Well, um, I think that's a very good question, and uh, you probably will have people uh, supporting both sides of that. Um, we are certainly better at diagnosing it. Um, w one of the things, however, that may happen is that People with depression, whether that's unipolar or bipolar, are probably living longer and have better quality lives. Um, they're more likely to get married. They're more likely to have children. They're more likely to have successful jobs uh, compared to the past. And many colleges, for example, will tell you that 10% um, to 25% of their students may have been treated for a mental illness. Uh, that wouldn't have happened in the past. Those individuals would not have made it to college. They wouldn't have been successful. So there probably is some degree of better diagnosis and better treatment, but also better quality of life, and those individuals are going to go on, and because we know these are uh, in part genetically related disorders, then they may be increasing. Dr. Franco, there's a stigma with being diagnosed with depression. How do you explain this to others to allay any fears associated with the condition? Depression is just another illness. I mean, we all have been dealt a certain uh, hand of cards, if you will. Some families have diabetes, some families have cardiac conditions, some families have asthma attacks, some families have mood disorders. Um, it's really not different. The, all of the body connects together. The brain is not separate. The fact that we can work with the brain a little bit more gives us an extra tool, but it's still one of the body systems, one of the, the parts that can get ill or have a chemical imbalance, um, have a change. I do believe people have a responsibility in their depression, though. They have a responsibility that 
it's time to get help. Just as a diabetic patient has a responsibility to monitor their blood sugar and to take the medications at the proper time, uh, to work with their doctor around regulating that tightly so they don't lose their vision and they don't lose their kidney uh, potential. So depression folks also have a responsibility to help so they don't succumb to the sequelae of depression. Dr. Franco, thank you for joining us today. This has been great information. If you would like more information on depression, please go to our website at www.shareweek.com.